everyone, it's DIYs with Ari here, and I'm back with another video, and this video is making your own little, like, camper van trailer video, like, no, yeah, tutorial, <laughs> sorry, and it also doubles as kind of like a safe for, like, things, like, if, like, things that you want to hide from, like, anything, <laughs> like, I put money in there just for an example. So, yeah. Um, so you can just tuck it in there. Just put it in there. And you take the string. And then you seal it back up. <laughs> yep. So, enough talking and let's start the tutorial. The materials that you will be needing for this DIY is a fabric marker scissors, um, a small piece of yarn, I don't want to lose it so I'm going to put it to the side, um, two buttons, a small one and a big one. I suggest doing like the black for the tire, that's going to be the big one and then this one's going to be the doorknob, so um, you can use whatever color you want for the doorknob. Or if you want to be creative with this, then you can do, like, any color. Wait. Oh, this is purple. Well, you can use a really dark purple that might look like a black, but, yeah. So, you'll also be needing your hot glue gun. Yeah. There's hot glue coming out of it. Um. No, it was just stuck there from the last time I used it. Um, you'll be needing felt in the colors of green. I use this one. You won't need that much green. Black. Blue. And white. And you'll also be needing some stuffing, too. I almost forgot that. I usually forget it in every single video. Like, every tutorial that I do. And I get really mad. I'm just like, when I'm editing the video, I'm just like, I forgot to put in stuffing. <laughs> Okay, so let's start the tutorial. First, you will be needing your white felt. I just cut off a random piece of my giant thing because I cannot fit that on my desk for this tutorial. And you'll be needing your fabric marker too. So, for the model that I did, like, I just, like, tried to, like, trace, like, a half circle and then just, like, a line, basically. So like it goes up and then like just like yeah so <laughs> yeah until I did it let me just fix the door on this because I get very OCD about that so I just tried to sketch it out so like this is how you would do it like you would go up and then you would do like a slight curve on it keep on curving you can have it as big or as small as you want and then you just have like a line at the bottom so it's like I'm just gonna move the camera like a half circle <laughs> so and then you can cap the fabric marker and you're gonna take your scissors and you're just going to start cutting Oh yeah, also, like, so, like, they're the same size. I usually like doing, like, a double layer for my fabric or my felt. In this case, I'm using felt. And then you keep cutting all the way around. So now when you are done cutting out the half circle, you are going to take your hot glue gun. And there's a piece of hair right here. And you can also flip it around if you don't want the fabric marker to show because we are not turning this inside out because that's how I kept it with the original one like it's not inside out so get the string fell off my desk and everything is rolling around so now you're going to take your hot glue gun and hot glue around the side, like the edges of the, the half circle. Then you're going to press it down after you're done. Yeah, so, 
and then you're also going to leave a hole for for stuffing it later so yeah so now you're just going to be hoggling all the way around the semicircle okay now you are going to put this to the side but um you will be needing it in a few seconds so you're going to take your blue felt and find a spot on it where you can trace i've used this a little bit so like i used it for my cactus pot tutorial so if you have not seen that um you should totally watch it because it's really cool so now you're going to take your fabric marker and like what i did on the bottom of this it's like a half it's like not even all the way to the end so you're just going to put like a dot where you would like it if you want it all the way like just like a circle like like a half circle all the way then you can do that but i'm not going to be doing that you're just going to put a dot right there and a dot right at the end of the half circle so then now you can put this to the side and trace like sort of like a little half circle and on the edge you kind of curve it so it will fit nice and then you just trace a line on the bottom and it fell off the felt and I traced it on my desk <laughs> so now you're going to cut this out cut out this bottom piece thing I don't really know what to call it. <laughs> when it was all cut out, it should be like this. And now there's hot glue strings to make up the half circle. Now you're going to hot glue it. Put hot glue on the back. Try to move it down to the bottom as best as you can and then push it down and then you'll hot glue the top part too you don't need to stuff it or anything just hot glue it down and then you'll wait for the hot glue to dry now um you'll still need your blue felt for this next part and um now you're going to measure up the top part and then you'll just put like a dot where the end of it is so then you have two dots there. Then you'll still need this put down. Then you'll trace like a little half circle up there. I just like to trace it just to like, so then it will fit on there. So now you're going to cut out this half circle. can put your blue felt to the side but you still will need it later on in this tutorial so you can see if it lines up nice and mine does so now you can put hot glue across it then you press it down and it just burnt myself some hot glue came peeking up Okay. And then you're going to hot glue on the top too. I need a new stick. <laughs> and then you will push it down. And now you will wait for it to dry. Now you are going to take the scraps, or you could just. I'm just using the scraps right now because I don't want it. Um. So I don't want to waste this so now you're going to take the belt and just 
try to measure how long this would be. Like, you might need, like, a little bit. This is for the door. So, like, try to have it, like, touching from, like, maybe, like, a little bit of here to, like, down here. So, that's what I'm going to do. So, just make it, like, an oval. And you can make it a little bit smaller, but... On the other one, mine was a little small, so that's probably what I'm going to do. Okay. Now you're going to cut out the sketch. This is the one. I'm making it a little bit smaller. So now you're going to cut out the sketch of the oval. After you've cut out the door, um, you can just... This is what I did for like the hinges on the door. I think that's what they're called. I don't know, but you can just like cut like a little rectangle on the side. So mine isn't straight, so then you just cut it. And then this will go on the side, like right here. So yeah. So now we are going to take our blue felt again and like cut like a little window for the door I'm just doing it out of blue felt oh god it fell somewhere it fell somewhere I will be right back and I will show you guys what it looks like when I cut it out so the door window is just like a little like half circle of felt so just I'm just going to hot glue it to the door quick then you push it down okay. and now you are going to take oh my god there's hot glue <laughs> no more for the least sometimes I just don't like my hot glue string and also, just so you can see where the door is, you could just leave the fabric marker outline. That's what I did with this one, uh, with the other one that I made. And, like, I just, like, traced fabric marker over it. Because I kind of like the design. You can do that if you want to, but I'm not going to this time. So, you're just going to put, like, hot glue on the side. And put half of it on the hot glue. So, you'll have the little hinge on the door. And now you will wait for that to dry. Now when the hot glue is dry, you're going to take your button and put some hot glue on the side of the door. Put like a little bit on there. Or you can just sew on the button, but just put it as the little doorknob. And now you're going to there's hot glue there's hot glue string now you're going to slip it under the little hinge slip the door under the little hinge and try as best as you can with trying to get it under there as best as you can then hot glue it put on a tiny bit of hot glue and then just like put the hinge over it And then you press it down, and then it kind of opens and closes. But just don't do that until it's dry. So now you wait for it to dry. Now when the hinge is dry, you're going to flip this open. And make like a tiny opening. Like not bigger than the door or else the, um, other people will see that, there's a, that you're hiding stuff in there. So you can make it a little bit bigger. So I keep on closing the door and see if it's like, if it's big enough. I'm just gonna say that that's good enough. Um. So now. Um, here, where's the hole? So now I'm just going to hold the felt up with my fabric marker. And like, I'm just going to like smooth it out in there. Keep the door open, you're not going to cut the door. Now, oh my god. Jeez. 
I'm going to keep it in there so then I don't cut the other side. Now you're just going to fold it and then snip it a little bit. And now you can cut around it. Now cut all the way around this. And then you can just like throw this out. Um, yeah, so you can use this for later because we will be needing it. And you can just snip off the excess of the fabric marker part. Um, so then the door opens and closes. Yeah, so this is what you should have right now on the trailer. Now right here, right off the blue part, you're going to put some hot glue there. Or you could put it on the blue part, but I don't really think, I don't know, but you could do whatever you want. And then you're just going to put the button on there and that will look like a little wheel. There's hot glue everywhere. So now, where did I put that string? Okay, here's the string. So now you're going to measure this and see if it'll fit on the little doorknob. So you could just hot glue it on there. I'm just going to put on a tiny bit of hot glue and push it down a little bit. And now put on some more hot glue and push it down without burning yourself. Now you'll wait for this to dry. So now when this is all dry, you can take it off and then and um and it opens and closes and then you can just seal it back up again. So now um you're going to take your blue felt and also you can do like this part in any color you want. Just I'm using blue. <laughs> now like with a window but just it's not like a half circle you're just going to cut like two lines and then you're going to have it like oh curved and then curve it again and this is going to be the window that goes right here and then if you want to like what I did on here you can have like a little black top or you can use like any type of fabric for this part, but I just wanted to use blue. So, oh, I just hit the camera. <laughs> so then you have it right here, and then you can measure it right here. Then you'll cut, and then you'll cut again. And you can measure that up, and then it fits. And now you are going to hot glue this to the little trailer. Wait. It's off a little bit. And then you're going to put hot glue like right where, um, like right where it meets with the other part. And then just stick on the little top part. Okay. Now you'll wait for that to dry. Next, um, for like this little flag part, um, you can use string, or I'm just going to use felt. So then you're just gonna line it up and see how long this part is. So it's right over to here. going to cut a little strip of felt 
and then it can go right there. If it's a little bit longer than you expected, then you can just always cut it off. And you're going to hot glue this on. And then if there's any excess on it, you just snip it off. It's stuck to the back. And then you wait for this to dry. Now when you're done, if you had like, I'm just going to use this excess piece of um, like white felt. And like there's like a little checkered pattern so then you can just like cut out like a little white triangle for the little flex. Like for like the little garland flags. And then you snip it off. So then, this is what I'm using the green felt for because then if like there's blue and blue, then you won't be able to see the blue flag that well. And then, just cut a little green flag. And they're just little triangles. And then you can cut another white one. You can do as many as you want to, but I'm just going to do three. And now you can hot glue them down. A little hot glue got on there, so I'm just going to use the fabric marker cap. I'm just using the stuff that came on here for this one. Now it looks like a little flag. Flag garland thingy. <laughs> and it um this part is optional, but um right on like the end of the blue part, I put like little leaves on it. Like two tiny leaves. So I was just going to cut like little, like little tiny ovals. You can have one right there. You can do as many as you want on here. But I'm just going to do three. I mean, no, I meant two. Sorry. Now you can hot glue these on there. Now, when you've done, when you're done putting on all the accessories and everything, you are going to take your stuffing and on the hole that you kept open you are going to stuff it and trying to fit this in there. I think I grabbed a big glob of it so now you're just going to stuff this so now when you're done stuffing it you are going to take where the hole is. And, uh, some of the stuffing was sticking up. So now you're going to have it like slightly pushed down. And then you're going to put hot glue where the hole is. Then you're going to push it down. 
and now you're going to wait for it to dry. Now when the hot glue is all dried on the whole part, I think I'm on the, no, I'm on the right side. So now, yeah, this is done. So you can take it, take off like the little hatch part and you can make like a little hole. You can maybe, you can take out some stuffing if you want to and then you can hide stuff in there. I'm just going to put in this tiny glitter bottle, for example. And you can put it in there, and then launch it up. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications, when so then you'll be alerted when new YouTube videos comes out of my channel. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, make sure to do all those things that I um that I asked to. Um and so I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye!